This is Denver 7 On Demand. Good morning, I'm Molly Hendrickson with the latest from Denver 7. Denver police say they have found the body of missing seven-year-old Jordan Vong. They have not provided much more details surrounding his death. The investigation continues at the boys' home near Fairplay and Bowling in Denver's Montbello neighborhood. Police and the FBI could not reveal how Jordan died or if there are any suspects. Today, the Highline Canal Trail underneath C-470 will close for the next three months. The closure is necessary to complete a wall as part of the C-470 Express Lane project. Just take South Erickson to County Line to Primo Road to get around that closure. Today, the Denver Animal Shelter starts its human walking program for another year. The program matches downtown Denver employees with dogs for an afternoon walk. It's a win-win. The break from the daily grind can help workers de-stress, and it gets the dogs some much-needed outside time. And now from the First Alert Weather Center, here is meteorologist Lisa Hidalgo. And we'll have some pretty good outside time this afternoon. Uh, we do have some severe weather across northeastern Colorado this morning. In fact, a brief tornado reported uh, in northeastern Weld County early this morning, and some severe weather possible through the early morning hours. Uh, skies will gradually clear out. These storms will dissipate, and by 11 o'clock, we'll be in the low 70s here in Denver. Upper 70s to low 80s this afternoon. Denver likely right around 85 for a high. Now we'll get a few thunderstorms uh, developing. It doesn't look like the risk of severe weather is going to be quite as high today, but late afternoon, early evening, we'll be watching spots like the springs and then south and east from there for a few of these storms to produce some larger hail and some gustier winds. Overnight skies clear out. Tomorrow morning we'll be in the 60s. It's pretty warm tomorrow afternoon. Now we could see some overnight storms Thursday night into early Friday. Upper 80s for highs on Thursday day and then close to 90 on Friday. It does get calmer this weekend. We've got a nice break from some of the severe storms this weekend with upper 80s to low 90s, Molly, both Saturday and Sunday. All right, Lisa, thank you. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thanks for joining us and make sure you check back here later this morning for another update and download the free Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Molly Hendrickson.